As we mark the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, I wish to pay tribute to all those who work tirelessly to defend human rights, including labor rights around the world. 75 years ago, when the world adopted the UN Declaration of Human Rights, it also reasserted the vital importance of human rights for the world of work by guaranteeing workers and employers the right to establish organizations of their own choosing for furthering and defending their interests. This is no coincidence as the world sought to build peace based on social justice. At this time of deep insecurity and conflict in the world, the Declaration reminds us that inherent dignity and equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, social justice, and peace. The capabilities afforded by the right to organize enshrined in the freedom of association and protection of the right to organize convention, convention 87, have helped to win many battles in the war against poverty and exclusion and in the pursuit of decent work, social justice and democracy. When democracy retreats, we must step up to advance fundamental freedoms and promote more systematic participation by civil society in our work together for social justice. As Director General of the International Labor Organization, I pledge to act on the UN Secretary General's call to action to protect and expand civic space. I pledge to redouble our effort to realize the right of everyone to collectively pursue their economic and social interests in freedom and dignity. As a first step, the ILO has just adopted a collective bargaining strategy for the next two years, whereby we will mobilize all our means of action to promoting the capacities of trade unions and employers' organizations to improve decent work and productivity through collective negotiation. We will also bolster our support to preventing labor conflicts and building constructive labor relations.